In this video, we'll look at how we can install the JavaFX on the Eclipse IDE. And all we are supposed to do is to search for the Eclipse component that we can use to develop JavaFX applications and install. And after the installation, we'll look at how we can create our first JavaFX application. There are two ways we can use to install the Eclipse FX component on the Eclipse IDE. The first approach is to go to the help, go to new software, install new software. In the work with, we select the URL we want to look for the new software and we select the component. So when the components load up, we go to General Purpose Tools, and we look for the Eclipse FX ID. There would be the case that you might not see it in any of the URLs that will be provided. So if we go to a different URL, under the General Purpose Tools, again, we are not seeing the Eclipse FX ID. Depending on the Eclipse version you are using, you might or you might not see. So assuming we saw it, we we'll simply select and install it. If we cannot find it here, we use a second approach. We go to the help, go to Eclipse Marketplace. And when it loads up, what we are supposed to search for is just FX. Type FX and press enter. Now we can see the Eclipse FX component that we can use to develop the Java FX application. So all we need to do is to click on install and wait for it to finish installing. So we simply read the agreement and we accept. We click on finish and we can see the progress the installation. We wait for it to install. So when it's done installing, we simply click on restart to restart our Eclipse ID. So our Eclipse has restarted and our Java FX has been installed. We can try to create a new project to see if it actually is being installed. So let's create a new Java FX project. Go to file, new. We select other and in other we are looking for Java FX. So we select Java FX. We want a new Java FX project. So we select that, click on next, and we give it a name. Let's click on next, click on next. And here we need to tell what type of application we are developing. Is it a mobile or desktop application? So we select desktop. What is the name of the package we want? Let's leave it at application package. What language do we want to use? Let's pick XML. And here we can pick the root type. We can change it from border pin to anchor pin or flow pin. Let's change it to anchor pin. And we leave the names as they are. So, then we click finish. So, our Java FX project has been created, and when we expand it, we can see we have the main, the sample controller, the application.css, and sample.xml. So, we would use the CSS to style our application or change the look and feel. The sample xml is what we'll be using to design how our application looks like. And we have the sample controller. This is where we'll write all our event handlers to determine what happens when an event occurs on our application. And this is where our main method will be, which is what the application will use to run. So we can just run this application to see what happens. If we run it, this is what we would see. So there is nothing actually in our application. We can do some few changes to see what happens. So we close it 
and go back to the fxml file. The fxml file is an XML based user interface markup language for defining how the user interface of the JavaFX application will look like. So you can consider it more like the HTML of JavaFX. So we can manually code how we want our user interface to look like by simply writing inside the anchor pane where the anchor pane is beginning and where it is ending. So assuming we want a label with some text inside, we simply start with the label. Label. What do we want to be displayed on the label? We want some text to be displayed. So we say text is equals to and we say welcome. To Java FX and we close our label. So we run it to see what happens, and we can see welcome to Java FX, which is what we wrote in the label. So we can likewise add a button and we say button. And what do we want to be on the button? We want some text, and the text will be and we close our button. So when we run it, we will see the button click me. When we click, nothing happens, but it is lying on top of the label. So we need to specify the location as well. However, we will not be hard coding in our XML file. We will install what is referred to as a scene builder for drag and drop customization of our JavaFX applications.